Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Um, everything you need to know about my channels in the description box. Details below regarding personal readings. Also how to enter for a free personal reading. And then lastly, there will be an extended uh, reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. It will also be in the comments. Uh, in the extended, I will look at the next uh, three to four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. And I treat it like a personal reading. So I'll have more details about that. So let's get started here, Virgo. See what the energy is here. Okay, interesting. We have fear. We have divine timing. Interesting. And we have new love. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, interesting. And we have hookup here. Got hookup, new love, and you got fear here. Interesting. Let's see what's below hookup. And we got secret crush. And we got soulmate here. Well, what I'm sensing with this energy, I feel like there's somebody that you've had a casual connection with or a casual relationship and they have more feelings um, for you than what they're letting on. We got soulmate energy here, okay? This is someone who has a very strong uh, attraction to you. What I'm really picking up here, Virgo, is I feel like there is new love. There is definitely new love, some sort of new beginning. Um, I feel like this could be somebody too. Maybe they have the fear that you um, have someone else in your life. I'm getting that energy as well. Does feel like there's been some timing here or a stalemate between you and this person. So interesting. So Virgo, <laughs> let's see what this is all about because I feel like you got someone here that may... Um, have been a casual connection and they could be spying on you or keeping an eye on you and I almost feel like this person some time has gone by and this person has uh, more feelings than they're letting on here okay and they may be feeling like you're in another connection or another relationship or they're wanting um, another romantic opportunity with you so let's see what we get here okay your first card here is the empress we have the four of pentacles we have the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy we also got libra there and we have the seven of cups okay and bottom of the deck here we have the ace of swords all right so virgo right this could be your energy here this king of pentacles and it's not about male or female it's about the energy i feel like virgo there's somebody here look at that ace of swords oh my gosh three aces here ace of swords ace of cups ace of wands and we also have here look at that the page of pentacles i feel like this is very um important energy here i'm going to put this down it came out for a reason with three aces here I feel like, like I said, I feel two energies here. I feel someone here that you've had a casual connection with in the past. And I feel, yeah, because look at this. You have options here. You have options. And I feel like you have a new opportunity here, a new love opportunity here. Ace of Cups here, a new romantic opportunity. But you also got someone here, I feel, that wants... Um,
wants an opportunity with you here, okay? This passionate person here, this person has kept things casual. And you have the Ace of Swords here, okay? Well, there's the birth of something new here, Virgo. I'm not too sure what it is because you got a lot of new thing, a lot of newness here with these three aces. Options here, okay? There's a message here. There's a message coming through. Let's do some clarifying. <clears throat> now, I'm going to say here you have the Five of Swords and you have the Two of Swords here. So, Virgo, I feel like there is somebody here from your past. Uh, this is a third party energy for me. It could be that you find yourself upcoming here or maybe you already are in sort of uh, some sort of third party situation and there's an energy here of making some sort of decision, but you do have divine timing here. So I feel like a person that there was a casual situation with, I feel like there's kind of like a stalemate, like no communication between you and this person. And I feel like with the divine timing card, when you and this person came together, it was not the right timing. It could be this person had fears, but I feel the fear now is that this person may feel that you um, are moving on or you have a new love in your life. Tell me more about this fear energy. Tell me more about this fear energy. Okay, eight of wands. Yeah, they may be feeling here with that Eight of Wands that they don't have control anymore with the Emperor. Okay, Aries energy. They may be feeling like you're moving on, like you just moved on. It was that easy here, right? They, uh, I feel like too, this could be someone that feels that they don't have control of the situation. Let's see. Um, let's see why divine timing is here. Tell me more about divine timing. Tell me more about divine timing. Okay, ten, ten of swords and the two of cups. Okay, look at that. Yeah, this is someone who has mutual love for you. I feel like this is someone who feels like things are over, that things have ended, that, you know, there's no uh, chance here with you. Let's see why the new the new love is here. Tell me more about the new love. Now, it can be that so much time has gone by. Maybe you did decide to move on from uh, this person. Because this can be deep anguish. There could have been something very painful that happened in this connection here. Uh, that's the Ten of Swords energy. Tell me more about the new love energy, please. Okay, yeah, eight of swords, nine of, pen, nine of coin. Nine of coin is your energy, okay. Yeah, this person may feel like you have other options here. This is what they're worried about. So this is someone I feel they have not come forward. They have not come towards you. I'm sensing here. They may be feeling you're moving on. It's interesting, okay, because... I feel like this was somebody in the past that kept you stuck, Virgo, and I feel like you're moving on here. And what's interesting is now this person is worried, right, that you're moving on and that you have other options. See how it flips there? <laughs> Let's uh, do some more clarifying. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Wow, look at that. Lovers, Gemini energy. And we have the Three of Wands. Okay, so you have options here, Virgo. You have options here, okay? I feel with the Empress here, too, this is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting a new beginning in your life, and I feel like you're manifesting um, more than one option. Okay, and you have a choice in love. That's what it's saying here. You have more than one um, person here, I feel, to choose from. And one of these people is a um, casual situation or someone who has kept things very casual with you. Tell me more about this uh, Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Okay, Nine of Swords. All right, yeah, this is the new love opportunity. Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay. There's somebody coming in pretty quickly, Virgo, for you here. It does feel like a very secure energy with that Four of Pentacles. 
Okay, Page of Cups here. I do feel like this is a new love. I do also feel um, with this energy, you got the three of coin here as well. This is someone I feel who wants to build a foundation with you. Okay, new person here. Someone exciting, right? All the knights drive motorcycles. Maybe they drive a motorcycle here. But this is someone I feel who is coming towards you pro quite quickly here. A new love opportunity. That's why I was showing you here. You're going to have more than one person come into your life. I feel like something ended between you and somebody else. Now, it could have ended because of their fears. But I feel like this is someone, they're, um, they're secretly watching you here with the uh, secret crush here. Some of you too, this is a past life uh, soulmate connection. You do have medic attraction. So this is someone, you and this person have a very uh, magnetic uh, energy with each other, chemistry. Let's see why the Ace of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. King of Wands and the Eight of Coin. Okay, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so <clears throat> Virgo, this is someone I feel who was stubborn in the past. Someone who could have even been, this is someone who was, uh, could have been arrogant, arrogant here with the Four of Cups. Could be somebody who had other options here. Um, somebody I feel here, um, their energy could be quite aggressive in some sort of way. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They're coming towards you. This is someone that's going to reach out to you. They're going to see if you're going to accept. That's what I get here. Accept. They're going to see if they're going to. You're going to accept what they have to offer. <clears throat> Let's see who this Page of Pentacles is. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. This is thinking strategically and the chariot. Yeah. There's a message here. Knight of, Knight of Wands. Okay, they're coming towards you. Okay, another knight here. This is fearless action. So this person, it's interesting because you have fear up here. This person's coming towards you, not in fear. They're thinking really strategically about coming towards you here. There's a message, Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is a temptation for you. Temptation, another option is what I see here. Let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh, again, you have options. Three of Cups here. Celebration, this could also be a union here. I feel like this is going to be a temptation for you, Virgo. Uh, we have the death rebirth card and we have hidden deceit. So this could be somebody who betrayed you, somebody who was not honest, somebody who could have led you to believe that, um, you know, things were moving in the direction here of a relationship. This is someone I feel that uh, gave you butterflies, someone you were very attracted to. Interesting. I feel like we need more energy here. Let's see what we're going to pull here. What else can you share with Virgo about this situation? Justice, balance. Good karma, balancing the scales of karma. Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, this is someone returning into your life, somebody who um, there was not a whole lot of stability or balance with this person. Um, I feel like this is someone here who wants to restore balance, right? Um, bring balance to the connection. Could even be to make things right here. We have Page of Wands, and we also have, yeah, look at that, Judgment, okay. Communication. You're going to get some communication from this person. There's an opportunity for a second chance here. 
if you want it. You also have here the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so they're trying to save this connection. They're trying to uh, regain stability here with you is what I'm sensing. Somebody here who I feel... This is someone who tried to control their feelings and their emotions. This is someone um, I feel here too who had fears about things moving too quickly. With the connection that the two of you have, I feel like this could be a connection that really took off pretty quickly. But tell me more about this new love coming in for Virgo. Tell me more about this new love. Okay, look at that. Eight of Wands and your energy, Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, Cupid's arrow is getting ready to strike. That's what we had here with the Page of Cups. Something new, something exciting here. Uh, good news. Tell me more about this new love coming in for Virgo. The Sun card, oh my gosh, and the Three of Cups. I feel like this new person that's coming in for you, Virgo, definitely feels like a lot of potential happiness. Um, going out, having fun, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we've got strong Leo energy, and then we have Taurus on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this new love person, there could be a relationship here, okay? Could be a relationship, but I also sense here, Virgo, there's this other person here. <clears throat> you will have an opportunity with this other person if you want it. Um... Somebody that you have a lot of chemistry with. I feel like this is someone like intimacy-wise, attraction. You're really attracted to this person. And this person here, I feel like this is someone, this is someone I feel like you will have a lot of fun with. Okay, there's a lot of potential for fun. Like this is someone I feel will make you laugh. You'll be happy, you know, have a good time. This could be somebody that you travel with. It is new, but let's see. Um, <clears throat> let's see what the lovers oracles have to say. Okay, so we got the ice queen here. Okay, this is about you using discernment. Okay, so you or this person could be divorced or you know a parent. Um, but this is being detached, right? Really listening to your head, okay? Not so much your emotions here. You got young female here as well. Let's see what else before I say anything more. Open relationship. Okay. Yeah. This is someone in the past that kept an open relationship here. Somebody who wouldn't commit all right or you were in a commitment and this could be somebody who you know i don't know could have uh, been another person involved here but i also feel like this is you being single virgo okay and you know not in a commitment right now let's see what else okay we got mature older man and it's not about male or female it's about the energy Okay, so it feels like there's an older, somebody older than you, somebody mature. We got soul, soulmate energy here. Relationship, great connection. Yeah, I feel like this is this new soulmate. And you also have here fair male, lighter than darker, okay? So again, there's two energies, not about male or female, it's about the energy, all right? I feel like this is about you being single, you having options here. I feel like um, this fair male, that means if they're darker, they're they're lighter dark, okay? And if, you know, they're uh, fair, they're probably, they're, um, gosh, what did I say? More fair than olive skin, okay? And look what you have here past life connection, soulmate connection here, okay? There's a deja vu energy, a knowing here, okay? This could be with this past person or it could be with the new person. You're going to know who this deja vu is, who this past love energy is, right? So, Virgo, you're going to have a choice here, and I feel like 
right? You're going to have to make some decisions which energy is going to be best for you. You know, in the extended, I will look at the next uh, <clears throat> three to four weeks energy in love, and then I will dig deeper into this past person here, what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. Ooh, wow, that one flew out. Oh my gosh. Look at flew out here, Virgo. Proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. We also have here lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Look at that. There's a choice between two. And we also have here cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await beautiful beautiful energy and I, and I have to end it with this one too it says abundance lucky times are ahead of you along with good news success and prosperity so you're going to have a choice in love virgo it's going to be your call here and um i feel like there's two choices for you so i'm going to take it to the extent and we're going to see how this plays out virgo i hope to see you there i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel of